Hello and welcome. You're joining me in a game here called City Eye. Now, I've been playing this game as you're watching me here for approximately three hours at the moment. Now, what I'm actually doing here is just expanding my um, camera network, just buying some new cameras. You can actually, um, well, there's three camera types that you can purchase and as you progress through the game you actually unlock other parts of the city so it does become um, a lot bigger um, it's still quite small at the moment when you first start playing the game it's really slow but um, it does speed up uh, and I think the cons totally outweigh the pros on this game um, it does become quite um, repetitive as, uh, as no doubt you will see as we uh, as we play through the game here. But just by having um, this amount of cameras, you do get um, an awful lot to do. So uh, maybe a follow-up video when I've actually unlocked the whole city, I would expect it becomes extremely more difficult to um, keep the town safe because that's the overall objective of the game is to... Um, be a surveillance operator on these cameras and keep the whole area crime free and uh, safe for the population. There we go, we've got a bit of gun crime there so um, what we will do, we'll just zoom in, we'll check his file, we'll mark him as a suspect and we will um, get the police out to him. There we go. So shortly a police car will come along and take that guy away all right here we go we've got a, uh, a resident um, requiring medical attention so we'll call an ambulance have a quick look round So as you're probably watching this, you're probably noticing the, uh, wow, the graphics, man. They're very, uh, well, did you see that? If you just noticed just where I called that, uh, there was a guy with a gun holding a citizen down on his knees, pointing a gun at him. The police car came along. One, you don't get the animation of the police getting out the cars and arresting um, the guy with the gun and taking him away. You just get an abracadabra, a puff of smoke and they disappear. Um, same, same with the fire here, there you go, building's on fire. Call the fire engine out, fire engine will come and then abracadabra, the fire's out. There's no, no animation that way. I would like to see some more anim animation regarding the police arresting the, uh, the bad guys and the ambulances taking away the um, patients and things, but uh, no. Right, let's uh, have a look around. Okay, so we've got a fire here, a fire started. There is absolutely loads of arsonists in this, uh, in this city. They just light random fires. And here's a typical example. You get lots of these, it does become very, very repetitive. I, I, I don't know what it would be like when you've got absolutely hundreds of cameras out and the whole city unlocked. I'd imagine it becomes very difficult. But here comes the fire engine. It looks a very British fire engine. And abracadabra, job done. No animation whatsoever of the fire crew getting out and putting the fire out, etc. etc. That if they could put that into the game, I think it would uh, it would make it a little bit more visually. Um, better, but um, yeah, I believe this is made by um, a very small development team. Uh, I don't know how big it is. It could actually be just one person. I don't know, but uh, I like the idea of this game. I think it's a good idea. Um, will it get updated? Will there be improvements? I just don't know. So we've got another citizen flat out on the uh, on the pavement there. So uh, yeah. Here comes the ambulance crew. Abracadabra, job done. Uh, 
Gra graphics wise, the it, it doesn't really bother me. But my biggest gripe with this game is just how repetitive it becomes. Loops here. We've got another arsonist here, another fire starter. Um, absolutely loads of them um, live in this city. It would appear. But uh, you do get events, um, so it will give you designated areas to actually keep an eye on um, regarding, um, well so far I've had two events I think, or maybe three events and one is um, a group of um, protesters of some sort putting graffiti around the town, um, the fire starters, the arsonists just randomly setting fires and um, drug dealing in a certain area of town that uh, we've had to uh, try and keep crime free and that's what you've got to do, you've got to try and keep the areas crime free. Now that isn't easy, particularly when you've got a lot of cameras. Um, it's actually quite difficult but there is like a um, an automated camera I've only got a few of them and what that automated camera will do that's one of the most expensive cameras to buy um, it does it all for you so I would expect that once you've got all them automated cameras it does the call outs for you it appears and everything um, so what I would expect once you've got all them in there's a possibility that you don't really have to do a great deal because the cameras all do it for you but uh, they're quite expensive to buy they are five thousand dollars I believe to buy I only have a few of them and from what I've noticed they cover the call outs they automatically call the fire engine ambulance police etc etc as soon as it uh, picks up crime Now for you achievement hunters out there who perhaps like getting the uh, the achievements in game, there is 10 achievements in the game, I've been playing the game for approximately 3 hours at this point and you can already see how repetitive it's becoming, but within them 3 hours I have already managed to get 9 of the 10 achievements, I've only got to get one more achievement. So on the Steam store page, this game is available for the PC, it was released on the 12th of August 2022 and the description is, in the world of City Eye, you become an operator of the central monitoring systems who will try to prevent the effects of every single transgression in the game, use city maps to track dangerous areas and don't let the suspects run away from the police. There we go, we got a little bit of a punch up here, so we will try to uh, just do a profile on the uh, offender. Who's the main offender? It's that guy, and uh, mark him, and uh, we'll uh, call the police. Oh, there you go, shift completed, uh, events completed zero, and we get some cash for being an operator there. Oh, there's an event, look, it's just unlocked a drug problem. Um, we're to look out um, in that area for a drug problem. Um, you can unlock other parts of the map. Um, I'm not very good actually at keeping the areas um, clean, but East Estate is where the drug problem is. Um, like I say, I'm not very good at actually keeping the areas crime free. It's actually quite difficult when you start getting a lot of cameras. When you first start the game, it's really slow, but um, it soon speeds up. Um, just at this point, I've got a few cameras, but uh, I don't know what it'd be like when the full map's unlocked. I'd imagine it's uh, quite difficult and also very repetitive <laughs> at the same time. Now you can use the uh, the keys to control them at the uh, 
the camera with and the keys it's actually a lot easier and smoother so obviously you know you've got a and d w and s w and s up and down a and d left and right and q and e zoom in and out um it's a lot easier on the keys um the mouse just doesn't seem as smooth but uh maybe it's just me i use them both sometimes use the mouse and sometimes use the keys So I've given this game approximately three hours and like I say my biggest gripe is it's repetitive. Um, I think it needs a, a few more different crimes and uh, incident, incidents um, just to um, mix it up a bit. There's, there's not enough. It becomes very repetitive because you end up doing the same thing over and over again. It's either fires, somebody collapsed on the pavement graffiti, drug dealing, uh, it just becomes very repetitive, I think it needs a lot more incidents for the camera operator to deal with, um, because it just appears to be very very repetitive, you seem to be doing the same things over and over again, maybe you are in real life, I don't know, I've never been a camera operator. But yeah, if you could mix it, if it was mixed up, there's a lot more different inst incidents for the camera operator to deal with, and a little bit more animation um, rather than the fire engine just appearing and then the fire just instantly going out. Um, if we if we actually saw, you know, the fire crews getting out, the police officers getting out the cars, dealing with the incidents, um, I think that will just make it a little bit more interesting as a player to actually. Um, watch the graphics don't bother me um there we go we've got another fire star to look down there it's just um it's just so repetitive that's my biggest gripe but uh, i like the concept of the game i think there's a lot you could do with an idea like this um to make it a little bit more enjoyable for the player to play there we go we've got another fire starter they're, they're out tonight lighting fires around the town setting cars on fire it looks like <laughs> But yeah, the more cameras you get, the more difficult it becomes and also um, extremely repetitive. Like I say, I like the idea, I like the concept, abracadabra, puff, fire engine disappears and so does the fire. A little bit more animation there, it would make it a little bit more visually um, stunning for the player to actually watch. Another fire. Fire crews are busy tonight. But yeah, I like the idea of the game. I think it's a good concept. Um, I've not seen it before, I don't think. Uh, this, this sort of idea. Look, loads of fires tonight. We have got them all out setting fires. But, uh, yeah. I'll maybe do a follow-up video. I don't know. I played it for three hours. Do I want to continue playing it? Well, I keep coming back to it. But uh, I have to have a break from it. I'll try to unlock the whole city and uh, I may do a follow up video or if the game gets updated um, I may do a follow up video but uh, I think you get the general idea of this game now and uh, yep yeah. maybe one to keep an eye on more gun crime so yeah I'll leave it there folks and uh, let me know what you think thoughts and comments about the game in the comments section below um, what you hate about the game what you like about the game what would you like to be see um, improved in the game um, yeah thoughts and comments in the comments section below and I'll see you all again uh, in another video hopefully um, real soon